Hello and welcome to this video for Electric Pages. I'm your host, Robert Mitchell, and today we are here at Electronica 2024 in Munich, and it's been an awesome event so far. We've seen so many amazing companies and different products and research, and today I am joined by Maria from Renesas. Thank you yes. for having us today. So, before we jump into the things you're going to show off, just tell the audience who you are, what you do, and what you like to do in your free time. Oh, okay. So my name is Maria Kozak. I'm senior product marketing specialist at Renaissance, representing Greenpack and Forge FPGA product lines. And I like jogging when I have some free time to my job. And for me, I don't move at all, as the audience knows. I'm a complete couch potato. So running for me or jogging, absolutely hate the idea of it. But great okay. that you like it. At least one of us does. So. Just start by telling us what it is that you want to show off today, because we've got some pretty interesting things going on. So just go take us through what you guys are demonstrating. Sure. So let me maybe start from a quick overview of what this technology does. So we have, we are representing Greenpack Programmable Mixed Signal Platform that allows you to create custom designs having digital and analog blocks. So here you have an example yep. what Greenpack allows you to do. Those might be such complicated designs, but those might be also these simple level shifters, power sequencer, GPU expander. We have around 60 base part numbers, and we've done around 9,000 custom designs. So here we have some demos. The first one that I want to tell you about is a demo based on HV pack, which is a green pack with H bridges. You just simply push the car and it starts detecting back EMF and then you just hold it for a moment, it detects over current and it stops. All of this is done with 47105, which also controls LEDs, controls the button and has an obstacle detection sector sensor. Uh, does the detection of obstacle during the movement. Uh, we also now uh, have a demonstration for the newest part, 47011. Uh, this part is the first green bag that has 14-bit ADC on board. It also has mass core and memory table. So this allows you to do some advanced applications using green pack. Uh, using four channel sampling ACMP, we can measure voltage, current, temperature, and power. Here is also an ultra low offset analog pack, which is a green pack with uh, op amps and other advanced analog blocks. And here we have three designs so, offset and gain control. Okay, so you move the scene. Way. Then you have addressable RGB LED control. You can do it step by step in both direction and you can do it in a loop. And you have a voltage regulator. Each design is programmed in each of the analog packs. We also have here another board for HEV pack controlling DC motor, LEDs and stepper motors. Uh, here you have a solar tracker. So you can just give it some source of light, it will detect it using four sensors and it will allow you to move the tracker to the maximum light point. We also have here presented our new product line for GPGA with three demos. Uh, here you have the first part in this family, 47910 which has 1,000 loot on board. So this is actually what we have for this show. I hope you like it. Sorry, I'm just, being, I'm just left a bit shocked here actually because first things first, let's start, let's unpack everything that was just said because this is some really interesting stuff. The first thing you seem to show, which is the, uh, the, uh, the green pack, is that this is an FPGA that also allows for analog programming. Uh, so that you don't have any coding here. No it's coding. A, yeah, it's a full hardware solution that allows you to have more secure solutions. You can also lock those designs and it will be completely a black box for your competition. So yeah, this is the thing. So, okay, so again, FPGAs, 
when you program it, it's, it's not in code. It's like you sort of like design how the thing's going to work. And okay. it's, it, like I said, it's, it's like an in-circuit design. But it seems you're implying that you've now done it for analog as well as digital. For this part, yes. Yeah. This is GreenPack, which is a hardware solution. And here you have coding using Verilog. So these are two product lines within but, but, our group. This is, this is something I've been waiting for for, for decades. And I'm, I mean decades because traditionally FPGAs are digital, which means that you can do ones and zeros, you can do logic gates, but you can't do analog signals. And okay. the idea of programmable analog circuits have been around for a long time, but they've never actually been made, if that makes sense. And it seems to me that what you're suggesting is this is probably one of the first in the industry to actually do something like this. And, and hence, this is what you're demonstrating here, which is that, like I say, by pushing it, the sensor picks it up and it turns it on. Yes, push it harder. I'm not very good at these things. I see, push it there hard. There you go, push it hard. Then and you, you can stop, stop it. it. But, but, it's not, but it's not running code. It's purely a digital, it's like a digital analog circuit that's in hardware. Yes, it's a hardware solution with no coding, and no here coding you have coding. Oh, yeah. So this is this uh, is available approximately from 2008. So we had a startup C Lego. 2008. Yes. Why have I never heard of this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's your mistake. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Apparently that existed. Yeah, Blimey. we have, we had a startup called C Lego. Then it was acquired ah. by Dialog, and now we are part of a big family of Renaissance. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, okay, that's why. So it's not like so it's not like Renaissance has had it from 2008. It's like this has been in development, and then Renaissance has stepped in now to really yes. push it up his game. Absolutely fantastic. So um, if we move, so you talk about the coding here. Yeah. So again, what kind of solutions can engineers use this for? What applications do you sort of see this being used in? Uh, you know, we position this in such a way that we have green pack, and of course it's limited because you have predefined set of blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it really allows sometimes to replace simple MCUs, still limited within the number of blocks we have. Yeah. And for more advanced things, like advanced power sequencing, yeah. some LEDs control, such yeah. things, when you need more mass, more processing, you have yeah. FPGAs. And in terms of applications, like as an industry, is like what, what industry sectors do you see this also being quite useful for? You know, uh, it has a very wide range of applications, the same as you have for green pipe. Those might be small wearable devices, but those yeah. might be like laptops, servers, controlling various kinds of sensors, such things. Essentially, anywhere where a sensor is it, it, being used and you kind of want to reduce the complexity of that circuit, that's where you're going to use it. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. So, in terms of like looking towards the future for your uh, for, for Renaissance, where do you see this sort of going in, in terms of what would you like to see this do over the next five to ten years? You know, for example, yesterday, as I mentioned before, we released 47011 with 14 bit ADC. Yeah. This is what we are doing. We are looking for ideas which blocks we can add to improve this technology to allow yeah. a wider range of applications. Yeah. So this is what we are doing. The same for SPGA, trying to develop, have more resources. Absolutely fantastic. Now, just before we wrap this video up, I've got one more question for you. For the audience who are watching this video, okay. if they want to get involved with these solutions, what would you recommend that they do? Oh, I would highly recommend to download the software from the Renaissance website. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it is for free. Here you have the 60 base part numbers. So these are generic green packs that we have with some generic blocks like logic gates, like counter delays, deeply blocks. Here you have more advanced analog blocks. Here you can run loads up to 26.4 volts and 3 out, uh, amperes per output. Power green pack has LDOs and FAT and automotive packs are qualified for automotive applications. So you just look ge generally on this, you choose the part that potentially fits your requirement yeah. and you try to combine all of them. We have a green pack cookbook available on the website. Yep. So you can uh, download it and see some very basic functions, how to set up blocks together, what settings you should choose. We also have a big library of application nodes, around 300 application nodes currently available. Okay, okay. I will just say that's really good for you guys out there because we, as, as every engineer knows, application notes are critical and it's, it's hard to often find them from other companies. So the fact that you've got over it was 300. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's like over 300. Oh, blimey. Now. So that's a, that is a lot of application notes. So anyway, thank you ever so much uh, for taking the time to see us today and it's been an absolute pleasure. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.